afternoon. Welcome to this Mark's Reviews and Tutorials video. I'm going to show you here how to switch out a motor block on a Dolphin X30. The X40 is very, very similar. Basically, they have a, a really good design inside these guys, and they're nice and easy to switch out. You can see we've got an old motor block that has died. The motor block basically has the drive motor, comes in through this gear here. It has the water flow which holds the unit down and causes all the filtration pumps the water through through this motor here the power cord comes in here it'll look something like this that's just undoing a nut and lifting it straight up off that plug the only thing to note there's that little slot needs to be lined up on your little three-way plug when you're putting that in and out motor blocks if either of these motors stop turning then obviously replacement is going to solve your problem. There's also electronics in here. Often what happens with these guys is they'll just go for just a few seconds and then stop, maybe go back and then stop, and then they die. A new motor block will replace it. You can see the gears and cogs, there's not a lot left. In here, your drive is off to that side on these guys. These two raised screws are where the motor block screws down into place. It fits in here. We put the little directional piece on top. We'll show you where we put it in. And then you've got your um, venting piece here and then the top screws on holds it all in together so we'll show you how to do that but basically replacing a motor block contact me have a look at the links in the description contact mark and uh, i can get hold of motor blocks and send them out to you complete when it comes to placing the motor block you just come in from this angle basically it'll slide into place a little bit awkward one hand but just hold it support it and it's all about lining up these two screws down here when the gear goes in see they then come into alignment there and there so and you can get it. it's just right it's in place in alignment we'll screw those two screws back up and then start to put this together so then this directional piece goes on top see there's two holes in it one there one there and that flicks over and clicks on to the two little studs that are sticking up here and here they just line up click on like that the uh, cord needs to be secured so that it, um, it doesn't pull and it just goes down under that white clip there goes back in place now you have to make sure that that um, sits nicely back in place because this is actually see one of the seals of your motor block. If you get a new motor block, I do not recommend you open it. Leave the factory seals in place. You've got your cord, there's a little hook. There's a little hook right there. Your cord goes under that and then push this down in place. Clip comes over the top, then click it on. So once it's clipped in place, it'll look like that. It's under that hook, it's clipped in and then that's nice and secure. This nest section over the top just slides in place. Use the two yellow bits to, to line it all up. And look at that, slide straight into place. You can now put this into place and this attaches with two screws. You've got to get this together. You'll see there's a little plug here which slides in under that grommet. There's a slot in the grommet there into the slot comes over, screws down into place, and she's back together.